Hi everyone, Lazyfire here. Welcome back to Shadow of Mordor. We're uh, going to take on the next mission, but first, first, I want to go do a uh, revenge mission that was over here when I ended the last episode. <laughs> Normally, I would go back out, make sure everything's hunky dory, and oh shit! Here we are out in the wilds. I like that. Your screams will carry further on the wind! Okay. Nah. I don't like that. I need help! I'll be you're dead! Probably. Get out of here. Uh, no one voted for him, so goodbye. Probably not the way he expected to go, but. Fuck it. Easy enough, right? Let's uh, go up here. I hate these towers. Just the way they're constructed makes it difficult to always climb them from all the sides. And uh, let's start this mission. <laughs> Someone was saying that they wanted to see one of these uh, brain damage guys come up. He's level 17. Uh, so, we're going to have some fun with this guy, I think. Just trying to move around pretty quickly here. Grublik. Oh boy, this is gonna be fun. All right, let's do this. Now he's invulnerable to stealth. He's behind some guys there. So that means that I can't really do the shadow strike to just take care of him quickly. Which is fine by me. But it also means that uh, he's got some really dangerous skills. The explosive arrows, the vault breaker, uh, those sorts of things can cause problems. We got. Gotta be the war machine. Let's get rid of his friends first. Vault breaker doesn't mean that he's invincible. You look for me? Saves me trouble. Yeah, he's nowhere near invincible, as a matter of fact. Alright, let's grab him. And sh steal his soul. And... Epsilon 87, you have been avenged. Ooh, 79% focus on a flurry kill. That would be helpful at times. Uh, actually, this is far enough away that I'm going to do a fast travel to get up there, because it's all the way back up here. This is back where we started the last mission. Kothug. Yeah, right, that guy. Just wanted to make sure there were no captains uh, sneaking around us in the immediate area. I don't know why I jumped before I looked, but you know, I did it. And we have a new ability to unlock. Oh boy. I didn't realize we're that low on this thing. I thought we were actually one tier from this. Issuing a death threat is actually pretty great, and it's going to expand what we can do in terms of, uh, well, what we can do with, uh, the different things with the captains. Man, I can't come up with words today. These last level things are absolutely fucking ridiculous. We're gonna take Death Threat. You'll notice that I didn't buy any of this shit up here. You don't need to. You can see where these, uh, these blue lines are coming from. That's the only time you need those to upgrade to the next thing. Blade Master is prior next thing to get, because, I mean, it drops three hits from your combo before you can, uh, get an execute or other move. It's just a very useful thing to have, but death threat for the free roam stuff is going to be more important. Alright, let's start this mission. Hold, brother. He wants the Gravewalker. Uh. 
Look. The Black Angus come. One of his minions. He was sent here to hunt us down. Let me gather my men. The servants of Sauron are foes beyond any of you. Get your people out of Mordor tonight, or you'll all be dead by dawn. There, there is a hidden tunnel to the Black Gate. Eric. It's time. Goodbye, my friend. So the local war chiefs did nothing to prevent this sacrilege? <laughs> <laughs> They all perished in battle, my lord. All except me, w War Chief Ratbag. Fortunately, you are still alive. <laughs> now, bring me the head of this grave walker. Claim the head yourself. Ranger from the Black Gate. Where was your bravery when we bled your wife and gutted your son? Kill him! Alright. Teach you what real pain is! Well, this is bad. Die! You can see that you can't actually see what his abilities are, which is disconcerting. Alright, shanking the orcs in this fight, I'm going to tell you now, that shit's not happening. Actually, watch what happens if you try it. Huh, that actually worked this time. Uh, almost every single time I tried that in my test playthrough. Every time I tried that in my test playthrough, I got hit through that hammer. Let's see if this bounces off him. No! Okay, not gonna do that again. And you can drain him. I don't know why you do something like that, but you can. This is not a difficult fight, as you're probably seeing here. Your time is not and you can just go right through that thing. This is a bit of a glitch fight. Why did I do that again? I knew exactly what was going to happen. I'm not thinking this out. Now you may deal the death blow and prove your worth, pig Yep, let's get this. I'm now kind of interested in doing that. Shank. Uh, we need to get a little bit more health here. Steal some health. Death can learn the art of the kill. Is this your best, Greenwater? Huh. Well, that shank should have counted in my mind. I will teach you what real pain is. And we're very close to the end here. Let's just finish it. Oops. I don't know why it zoomed in like that. I think it's supposed to be really uh, impressive, but it just causes me issues. How does your vengeance taste, Talion? Is not the darkness sweet? Too hasty. 
Sea of Nernan. My mother said you would be here. And here you are. Well, Lothariel from the Sea of Nernan. You should have stayed where you were. There's nothing here but death. Lady Marwyn, Queen of the Shore, wishes an audience with you. She has seen visions of your misfortune. <laughs> Queen who sees visions. Visions of the return of the great Celebrimbor? She wishes to make him an offering. And what is this offering? That is all I know. I must gather provisions. The return to Nernan is long and treacherous. My camp is close by. It will be my honor to escort you. So, well, it's not the guy we wanted. That is one of them. That was actually the hammer. It's the hammer, the tower, and I believe the Black Hand of Sauron are the three captains that he sent after us. And so we've got one gone. We have defeated the Hammer of Sauron. But the Black Hand and the Tower remain. And their master. So, clearly, we uh, still have a little bit of work to do here, but... We are getting uh, on with it, as it were. Let's get this. Nani here, Galar Mordor. Now, if you look in the bottom left there of our screen, you can see that the minimap now has this point. That will come up a little later on. It's actually the next mission that we have is going to kind of explain that one out. We do have some more stuff to do. Really? What does this guy do? Die professionally? Let's go finish that off. I was going to go grab that one last artifact, but I think the next video is actually going to be finishing off this area in terms of uh, different things that we have left to do. Epsilon 87... I am your fucking enforcer at this point, buddy. Once this is finished, we're going to end the video, and uh, we'll get on with our lives as it were. Dead categories that could work harder than these men folk. Why bother even? We're just gonna go Die. right through all these people. I don't care. There's no captains immediately in the area. Actually, this would be amazing to just continue with the video from here. Get out of the way. Part of me went... Really? What level is he? Six? He died to a 17 and a 6? The 17, I can understand. The 6... I'm not going to get a very good rune from this, am I? That's actually him. Ratanak. No, don't know Radnock's figure as well as I do, say, Pushcrimps or uh, Douches to figure it out from a distance. The silhouettes are just not very, uh, very well uh, defined at a distance like that. Where is this guy? That looks like him. Stakuga. Well, Vault Breaker and Stun Blocker. I can see where he died to a six. Especially early on. That stun move and the, the vault are both very important. Oh, and he's got a fucking posse. Alright, let's get these guys out of here first and foremost. Hey! Hey! Look out, lads! We're surrounded! <laughs> Look at that, he does have skulls on his bow. At least he's, you know, honest. 
and already down to grab territory. Grab. Watch out! He's coming for you. Oh. That was our best chance. Next time, you piece of shrock, you won't be so lucky. Yeah. Think about that. You're not invulnerable to headshots. And done. Now notice you don't get any power for killing this guy. Maybe you do actually. Yes, yeah, six power. So same amount as you'd get if you killed one of your own captains. Hey. Not nice. Let's get rid of this berserker. The thing about this game over uh, the Arkham games, and I started this thought sort of the last video and I'm finishing it up now, uh, is that holy shit, that's a fucking assload of berserkers. Let's, let's give them a little distance. Here. Uh, the difference is that this game is way more willing or able to throw uh, various types of enemies at you at once. So if you watch like uh, Scruffy's Arkham Origins video, even with the higher number of uh, enemies, you know, or the earlier introduction of high-level enemies in that game, you still end up fighting like a bunch of... Oh boy. That was dangerous. You still end up fighting a lot of the same guys from early on to, you know, the, the straight-on fighters in this game throughout the entire thing. They're fairly common. There are points in this game where you will probably not see a regular fighter for 10, 15 minutes at a time. It's crazy. This fight is uh, not really a great example of that, but you saw how many of those berserkers we had. Actually, there's still one around. Let's get rid of him next. Here's why I like the vault stun so much. Oh, wrong guy. It's not only because you get a... Uh, you stun him automatically when you jump over. Okay. It's because you also put some distance between you and the nearest other one. There's another vendetta open. We're gonna see if it's the exact same person. Fucking, I'm... Yeah, let's do it. I know I said I was finishing the video with that, but I wonder if I'm just working through every person who ever injured this one guy. We're not in a bad spot health-wise. Perfect health. Perfect elf shot. I think we can just jump right into this. Level 4. Alright. I swear, unless there's one more per one more uh, orc by the same guy, we're, we're quitting after this episode. <laughs> if it's the same guy again, I'm, if another era, a vendetta pops up with the same guy, we're doing it. There he is. He's actually vulnerable to stealth. He's a vault blocker. He's got poison. Ah, shit. He's got poison. Alright. This is actually the first time I played this game, I ran into a guy up here, and he's in such a spot that you can't really reliably kill him stealthily. However, that time it worked out. Watch it! He'll use you as a shield! Yep. I know that guy was a worm. I'm coming back to it. I wanted to get one of the defenders out of the way. Oh, no you don't. I don't know if I really need a worm right now. I haven't checked my uh, orc board in a little bit, but we'll find out. And we do have death threat. So we can issue a death threat. Who do we issue one to? Hmm. You can actually decide not to do this. In which case, you can just straight on kill him. Pop. Which is what we did there. Soon, death threats will be a thing. Probably by the next set of videos. Hmm. 
Alright, well, thanks for watching everyone. I will see you next time.